wanna do that. You wanna do this. You wanna do I don't think any of my, hey Jim, every time I see that Rashida thing, I swear I be thinking you the real Rashida because you know I love her and I think she's one of the most beautiful women in the world. You get me every time. This video of Carrie Bradshaw trying to do Beyonce, that got 116,002 views. That's crazy. Oh, them was wrong. I don't know what Drake is going to right now, but I hope some of these drag queens wash their ass. You know what? Why y'all on here? I'm going to do a live video, okay? Y'all gonna catch me do a live one. Drag Queens, 2018 is around the quanta. I need you all to wash thine ass. Let me reroute you. Thine tights, thine wigs, and get in thine mouth. We could not have funky ass queens in 2018. We could not. Don't have no other New Year's resolution. Your only resolution to be is washing thine ass tight and getting in that mouth and get that smell up out of there and fix it for 2018. If you can't wear titties and, and, and pads and shit, make sure your ass ain't stinking. We have to fix it for 2018. Make that the change you need for the new year. Thank you, Jish. Hmm. Was that sweet? I'm going to say Queens in 2018. Please. Do these things. Thanks, Jish. Okay, let's hit that video. Y'all just got a real live video from Jen. Make sure. Is that my knee? Look at my leg. See how white I am? That's two different colors. That's two different people. That water was hard. Hey, Jen. I got some patty music that I have somebody sent to me years ago that I have relocated. And it was from, was it the 80s or the 90s? It's either late 80s, early 90s. I got some new shit coming up for the new year. And I say that because I got to make the costume. So by the time I get done, it'll be the new year. Now watch how many queens I get. 
hitting me up, asking me, am I talking about them? If the shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> if thine ass is thank, it's for you, boo-boo. Yeah. Like this right here. Let me tell y'all what happened to me when I was in Atlanta. I have friends, so-called gay family members, who are in the Atlanta area. And I'm always knee stiff, knee stat, knee stiff, sister that, sister this, all this and all that. But I was in Atlanta for a whole week and two days. Now one of them people hit me up. Oh, girl, come over here. Let's see or let's hang out. I want to see you for a second. None of that. Didn't come to no shows, no nothing. Well, bitch, don't call me none of that and you can't come see a bitch or invite a hoe over. But you always on my fucking pages talking to me. And every time something go viral or something big, you want to clam in, oh, this is my niece. No, bitch, I'm not your motherfucking niece. I'm not your motherfucking nephew, friend, brother, cousin, uncle, mom, daddy, none of that. Because when I was in your fucking city, bitch, you didn't pick up the phone and say, uh, come over here or let's meet up somewhere or whatever. So don't wait till I bitch make it big or start getting shit going on, popping, locking and all that. You want to talk about, oh, that's my that's my niece and did it did it. Bitch, say that fake shit for somebody else. You still doing the same shit you was doing all these fucking years. Not a motherfucking thing. Sitting on thine ass, getting nut all up in your butt. And farting a doodle juice. I I don't like I don't like stuff like that. I don't like that fake shit. That shit make me itch and I hate the itch. My day been really cold out here, baby. I'm in Chicago. I slept good, but it's cold as in the motherfucker. Yeah. I'm trying to ride my coat tail. We thought my coat don't even have tails. So you ain't riding nothing but air. <laughs> and I left a nice little posting on Facebook and do you know and like I have said there's no need to reply but I promise you it's not there is no need to reply to this because if you feel it it's for you yes it is nobody reply back that's how I know they got the message You know what I mean? So they got it. I know they got the message. Because not one of them hit me up and said, Oh, bitch, I had to work. Oh, girl, I was out of town. Oh, girl, I wasn't feeling good. Or, not one of them. And I got ten fingers. And I need to use up my toes to add up on here how many people I was talking about. Not one. Not a fucking one. And I'm so thankful. See, you cut shit off at the beginning. There's no need to wait till the new year. Cut the shit off now. And somebody always calling me for something. When I, they know they better not pick up my phone. They better not even dial 323. Three. Nothing close to my number to ring my phone. No social media, no nothing. Boo, you get nothing from me, boo boo. I don't know if I like this. Cutest little baby boy. Cutest little baby boy. But he have a pacifier in his mouth. And you are 
dyeing his hair. That baby's gonna be bald by the time he is three years old. His scalp is going to be so damaged. Putting that damn chemical shit in that little baby. His hair is not even strong enough for that shit. Some of these baby mamas don't need to be having no fucking pussies full of cum. No rings. Pussy full of cum. Let me see. I know. Why would you do that? Am I taking what? Am I taking topics? Yeah, I'm taking topics. What you want to talk about, Jit? I got all the time in the world until my Jits come pick my ass up so I can eat. And the only reason why I'm really not trying to go outside to grab something to eat, because once I get something to eat, girl, I want to smoke. So we're not going to eat. And wherever she's taking me to, I want to go. Scroll all the way up. Oh, let me see. Just why I'm still all stars because they didn't ask me. The same reason why you ain't on there because they didn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't ask you. Scroll up to where? Yeah, start a YouTube advice page. Okay. I don't know. I I really don't like giving advice because that's not i baby. I just tell people things that I will go through and that I won't go through. So if you take that for advice and getting it together, then hey, praise the Lord on that. Let's talk about these niggas in Atlanta. They all fucking each other bareback. They fucking bareback. They don't have condoms. They don't use condoms. They fucking the trannies. They fucking the gay boys. And they getting fucked by both as well. They don't use condoms. So women, if you live in Atlanta, watch your pussies. Because the men out there is fucking bare back. Bare back mean no condoms. Doo doo juice on the, on the damn dicks. And nut all in their butt. They do not use condoms. And the A-T-L. Every guy I have ran across via the dating apps or in person. I'm going to pass on that. So, oh, deuces, pieces, adioses. Oh, no man, no lies, no lies, no lies, no lies. I'm a Libra. And the men in Atlanta just don't use condoms. I'm telling you, every guy I had hit up, they either try to use I'm on prep, which is a little blue pill that, you know, fight off HIV and stuff if you don't have it. But, um, that don't mean shit. You still can get gonorrhea, chlamydia, crabs, and all that other shit. Nobody wants shots in their arms and their asses and all that stuff. No, ma'am. I remember when I was like in, maybe, elementary, sixth grade, seventh grade or something. My brother, best friend, he had got crabs or something and he said that the man had to stick a Q-tip in his dig head and do something and he said that shit hurt it and ever since then, bitch, I've been scared. He said he cried and I knew then that you had to strap that dick up because that dick is deadly. Cause if, you, if you don't strap it up, you won't have pain, Jeff. How do you get over depression? You know what? I 
you don't know. And the reason why I say I don't know is because no, no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. I'm depressed about something. Something still had me a little depressed. And it's, you know, of course I can't change it, but it still had me a little depressed. You just have to figure out a way to get over it. If it's a love, if it's whatever the situation is, at some point in time, you just have to accept the fact that it is what it is and you are ready to see it another day you're gonna die one day so you better let the shit go and get over it and if you can fix it fix it if you can't then i don't know what the i don't know what the situation is or why you're depressed but you have to get over it at some point because you don't want to die being depressed. Stressed mm -hmm. out. None of that. At least I know I don't. Let me reroute you. Let me see. But keep yourself busy as fuck. Really ain't going to fix nothing. Because as soon as you stop being busy, it's going to hit you right back. Because you have time to think. You just have to take that time to get over it. Figure out what it is. Come up with a way to get over it and move on forward. Because you know why? Because the time is still doing this. No matter what's going on, time is still doing this. Time is still going. It ain't stopped. It ain't went back. It's still doing this. It's going forward. So no matter you stay in the bed for 12 days, shitting on yourself, pissing, crying, throwing up, all that. It's still doing this. So you have to get up with the time and say, fuck it. How do you get over a man? Shit, get over his motherfucking ass. Accept the fact that he did you wrong. If he did you wrong. And when you see him, it's two cards you could play. You could be that nice, simple, oh, hey, how you doing? All right. You know, like it was nothing off your shoulders. Or you could give him the silent treatment. With most time, the silent treatment always works for me. But sometimes being nice to a person that did you wrong is even better. Because they are so stuck on stupid. Knowing they did you wrong. Now sometimes being silent can make the other person feel like they winning. Oh yeah, she mad. She ain't saying nothing to me because I did such and such and such. But if you give a motherfucker that did you bad. Hey, how you doing? All right, good to see you. You look good. And keep on moving. Baby, that man gonna think in his head. What the fuck just happened? Why the fuck she ain't mad? Or why the fuck he ain't mad? Or going off and... Baby, you don't need to do that. You just treat a bitch real sweet and nice like it is nothing off your fucking shoulders. And you'll get over that quick too because you know now you have theirs. They the one can't sleep at night. They the one trying to figure out why the fuck is this person not going mad? Because anytime somebody do you wrong, the first thing you want to do is snap. And they are expecting for you to snap. But if you don't snap, you fuck their head up. I promise you. I am 41, love bugs. And I have been and seen a whole lot of shit in my life. Thank the Lord for that. And I know how to not speak to a bitch. And I know how to treat a bitch with kindness. And both of those will fuck a person up. It just depends on how you're going to play which one. But them are the two things you need to do to figure out how to get underneath somebody's ass. And I'm telling you now, it will fuck his head up. It will fuck her head up. Just be either or. But you have to decide which one is best for you. But I love, I play both of them cards faithfully. But that silent treatment depends on what the situation is and what went down. Baby, that silence could tear a person ass up, but you got to be good at silence. You can't break it. And then, da -da -da -da, and then go back. Baby, you have to go blank. Or 
while they talking, even around you, or when you see them, they don't know what's going on in your mind. They trying to, no, no, no. Even if you be nice to them, and if they come over and try to speak, you just give, oh, hey, how you doing? All right, okay, got to go. You ain't got to do a conversation to you. Hey, how you doing? All right. Because you know the motherfucker ain't no good anyway. So, go that way. They're going to try to hold conversation, try to call no man, block from everything. You block from Insta, you block from Facebook, you block from Twitter, you block from MySpace, you block from your phone number. They can't call, text, email, nothing. Cut off all communication from them. That's going to fuck them up. I know because I've done it to some people. And I'm still doing it. Because I don't have time for it. And that's one reason why I'm single too. Because you can't trust people nowadays. I'm going to show you women some apps. Oh, damn. I wanted it to load up. Okay, see this right here? See that four? That is Adam for Adam. Ladies, download that on your phone. Don't be done. See this one right here? Up there by Southwest. That's Jacked. Jack with a D. Download that on your phone. You see that man right here? Next to CBS, so I can watch the Young and the Restless. That's Grinder. Download that on your phone. And when you're around men, you have to hit them thing. You have to sign up and everything. Make your little fake account. You have to hit that and see what man <laughs> is in this house and this party on one of these apps. Now, the ones that really give you the accurate, the accurate right next Two feet from your ass is jacked and grinder. It would say 0 0.1 feet away. Bit 0 0.1, bitch, you right, you already up in me. I cannot tell you how many women over the years that I had told that to. Um, I said they found their boyfriend, their husband, somebody else's boyfriend, somebody else's husband on the maps. And in the A-T, it ain't nothing going on up there with men fucking each other. Some of the straight men assholes is more open than the gay men's. Hell, it's more open than pussy. You just fall whew, right on in. Bitch, you can't moan us. You don't feel that. Hey, Jess. Oh, God, Justin Hayes in here. Oh, hey, that boy. How long have you been single now, Jess? Oh, for about 16 years. Let me think. I've been living in my place 11. I was single. So that's 11. About 16 years. Hey, from the D. I'm supposed to be in Detroit next week. to do a pageant. But I don't know. It's cold as fuck. And I can't do the cold no more. I've been single for a long time. 16 years. But I do have a boo. We just ain't together. He and my man. I ain't his man. We just been together forever. <clears throat> but I would... I just, I'm not, I don't feel me finding someone that is about what I'm about. So, it's hard for, now it's really hard for me to find somebody because everybody's fucking everybody. You're right about that. But for me, <clears throat> it's hard. It already been a problem before I was even on Drag Race. Just dating someone who knew about the drag life and the city and stuff. Because they know we get into the clubs for free. We get drinks and invited to all these parties and all this 
red carpet for us. This way before Drag Race. So I always found somebody who liked Jasmine or liked me, but Jasmine was always somewhere in there. They wanted to, to get in the clubs for free and get the drinks for free and be able to... No, boo. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Then, of course, there's the ones who want to date Jasmine. No, ma'am. Because she don't date. She don't kiss. She don't fuck. She don't do nothing but hit the stage. And now, it's really hard to find somebody who will like you just for you and not want you because they know they can go on these free trips. Because, you know, if you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, of course, you're going to be like, oh, baby, we're going to Australia, pack a bag, we flowing. That's just my just right there. Let's go. So it's hard to really find somebody that is not caught up all in the whatever it's supposed to be. And I'm not trying to be with somebody to go with them for three, four months and then we break up. I, baby, I'm always in for the long haul. I don't do them short-term relationships and all that. That never been my gym. So... You know, it's hard to find people. Some people want to go with you for about four or five months, see if they can get out of you, say they had you or whatever, then move on or cheating. I ain't never been like that. I use these for my makeup. And then I use this like this to wipe it off. But yeah, so it's hard. It's really hard. Then I'm just like, I don't want to be bothered. And if I do, I want them, I want them to have their own place. I want to have my own place. So when we not like this, and we decide to break up, everybody just go their separate way. Never going to get married. I already did that to myself. So I'm good. Yeah, you can't trust them. Put no, you sure cannot. And with all these damn apps and shit on the phones, and everybody want to be a thought. Everybody want to say they the they the they the Becky. Everybody want to be Becky nowadays. Baby, nobody got time for that. Why would you want to be a Becky? You just a hoe. You have nothing to show for nothing. Just to say you fuck somebody, bitch. You have nothing. But a pussy full of cum. And a mouth full of dicks, dick sweat and dick juice. Some of them find you just give it a chance. Oh, oh, they had came through. Oh, baby, they they come through, they've been coming through. But the slightest thing, just nope, can't deal with it. I can't be with an alcoholic. I can't be with a drug kid. Everybody down there on drugs. Everybody out everybody that I have ran across. Other than two guys, they just was not my teeth, was on some type of drug other than weed. They either did some pills, they did some coke. I don't even know all the different names. I don't know some of them the same. Like Tina, Coke, Crystal. No, 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 no. From the old to the young. It's hard. It really is. But I'm going to tell you, to be honest, I'm looking for me a little Latin man. I always loved the Latin men. I always loved the Latin culture. And, of course, I love the Mexican food because that is my favorite. And, baby, if I could find me a little poppy, I'm set. I hope. But I'm, I'm cool, though. I got a lot going on. And I don't even want to be bothered with a relationship. And I always tell, like, the guys I have met and dated, I don't care about your past, because that's the past. Whoever you was with, lies. <laughs> Whatever you done, all that is the past. I'm worried about now and the future. But if you say you slept with one of my friends and you been with one of my friends, I can't do that. I can't do that. Mm -mm. Can't pull that one off. No, man. So, and in the L.A. area, I promise you, they just fucking. 
Your man don't even drink. Okay? Now, see, what I did do some research on, would I ever date another drag queen? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I never understood that, why drag queens wouldn't date each other. I think that's the best thing to do because they know what you do. They know who you are. They know everything. They understand the lateness. They understand going to the club. They understand. They understand. But us being in a community of gays, we don't want to accept it. And a few of my friends are drag queens that are couples. And to me, their relationship is beautiful. They travel together. They know what each other's doing. You know, it's perfect to me. And they've been together for like 9, 12, 15 years, some of them. I'm like, that's, bitch, you know everything. You, know, you don't have to hide this. You don't have to rub out what their friends are thinking. Because a lot of people, ooh, well, my friends may say, this and my friends may say that, but bitch, your same friends is still trying to get me to fuck them or fuck me, whatever. So while you so worried about them, yeah, they throwing your dumb ass off because they trying to get some of your dumb shit. I have to tell my ex that one time. <clears throat> is it hard being a drag queen and stuff? No, not for me. It's not. Not for me at all. But not being a drag I never stop nothing for me. I had never had somebody say, oh, I can't, well, I can't say I never had, because I did have a couple of guys that, no, nah, I can't date a drag queen. Motherfucker, you ain't dating a drag queen. You dating a man who do drag for a living. And by, not, not to be cocky, but making more money than you too, just, but, and then they come back later on. Oh, what's up? We should hang out and, no, we should not. You already had your chance. You don't get two chances with me, bitch. I'm one. That second one, that's just social media <laughs> cooking up. But we're not going to talk. We can talk more on social media than we could, like, in person after we tried it or, you know, whatever. You don't get two chances with me, not two. No, 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 no. Already wasting one. I'm not giving you two. Look, <clears throat> paper planes on. <laughs> no. Coming to Europe. No. Am I going? No, I don't think so. Yeah. And that's like when people say they don't want no fast, no films. I beg your pardon? That is the craziest thing to me. I swear. All this shit just started coming up within this 2000 area. Because when I was coming up in the 90s, I seen people dating all type of, it was just, people was together. It didn't care if you was fat, black, white, green, gray, fat, skinny, a, a toothpick with eyes, a pencil with eyes, and you was big as a damn fucking boat. It did not matter. Now they talking about no, no fast, no film. Well, what I did learn about the people who say no films is because they film, they are the most feminine people in the world. Get them in that bathroom. I mean that bedroom. They, uh, 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 bitch, the film and I do the film is the one that's fucking your dumb ass. I gotta tell my friend one day. He's like, I don't want to date no film and did it. Well bitch, let me tell you something. Half of more than half of the film men that I know are not even bottom. They are tops with these cucumber dicks. That you are striving and desperate and needing. And you're not finding it in these macho men. Because they dick so damn small. The film ain't going to be film in the bed, bitch. You looking for dick anyway. Get on your goddamn knees and look at the wall. No, not my part though. But uh, I, just, I, I, be, I be gagging off of it. I'm like, and no fast. What you mean no fast? Ain't no, baby, I love me a little chunk chunk. Don't get it. <laughs> Come on, chunky baby. Get your big ass up in this bed. Ain't nothing wrong with a little chunk chunk. Long that chunk don't stink, though. You don't want no fat chunky stink. No, ma'am. But you would definitely want to date a heavy set person. Well, I sure I would. I sure I would. In a heartbeat. I just ain't found one I wanted to date. 
And the ones that tried to talk to me, I smelled them before they came around the corner. Well, I've always got to be real all the time. Hey, Jeff. But yeah, I'm not touching my private part. I'm scratching my foot because my feet crawl. I don't think I'm going to buy it. I think I'm playing with myself. I do, uh, I did like Ireland. I had a good time when I was out there. I had a, it was too cold, though. So I would not be back there until the sun is out. Am I gay or straight? I am sexual. And I say that because I slept with plenty of women. And I slept with men. And I didn't say plenty of men because I haven't slept with plenty of men. But I have slept with a lot of girls. High school. I was the hoe in Christmas. When the Santa said, ho, 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 I had to raise my hand. Because when I was not in a relationship with girls, and I was pretty much always in a relationship with a girl, when I did get single, oh, baby. Girls could even wait. And I was like, what? Is okay, let's go. I was my, I'm my daddy's son. Papa was a rolling stone. I just didn't lay my kids down everywhere. Baby, we're not here talking about drag race, so you can let that go. That was four years ago. I don't even remember. The blood, uh, I'm waiting on my, my just to come pick me up. We're going to go smoke, and then we're going to go eat, or we're going to go eat, then we're going to go smoke. But I know smoking and eating is involved. And as soon as she tells me she's a few minutes away, I'm going to pop on these clothes and run downstairs. But I almost don't even feel like smoking, though, for real, Jim. I just want to eat shit. If I could just eat and really get back in this bed, I would be happy with that. But I'm going to smoke and some weed. I do accept weed as good. People bring me weed all the time. And somebody tried to read me one time. Oh, girl, you got somebody tipped you weed, right, bitch? Now I don't have to go spend my money at the motherfucking store. It was going to go there any goddamn way. I don't care if it's indica, sativa, hybrid, backyard weed, skunk weed. Just give me some weed. Weed is weed. Some is strong. Some is not. I don't like the strong shit, though. But weed is weed. I need to go get a root canal. Ugh. And I'm going to take care of that when I get home. Go to the dentist and we'll go ahead and root canal this back tooth back here. And then put a porcelain cap on top of her to match these veneers. I can get my jib. Fan mail post office box. I do have it. I don't know the number though. I can never remember the number of the box. But what I will do is, is I will find out what it is. Because I do have a couple of people that's been trying to send me some stuff that I haven't received, that I haven't received yet. So I'm going to make sure I have it. <clears throat> and I can post it because it's the post office. You send anything crazy to the post office, baby, you got the FBI on your ass. Because they can always track back where it came from. Oh, and they got cameras too? Get that one. I play the lottery every blue moon, Jeff. 
And I would, you know, get lucky or not lucky. I would feel, you know, lucky. And I would spend like a couple of dollars. You know, some scratch offs where I do like the quick picks and stuff like that. But I will go down to the casino and um I will go down to the casino and spend about forty dollars tops. I have a I have a amount. Forty dollars. Sixty is bitch. This is it, you're out of here. And I play the pity machine, Michael Jackson, Wonder Woman. I won off those. And it's a couple of other pity machines that I played that I won, but I don't know the names of them. But I do know Wonder Woman and Michael Jackson pity machine. I have made my change back. Sure did. Get a chance, you're the reason I watch all the Drag Race seasons in like two months. Oh, damn, Jill, thank you. Oh, that's it right there? That show is it. Girl, let me take a picture of that because I don't know it either. Camera. Where's it go? There it is. Okay. So there's my P.O. box. Do you drink? I may have like a red wine. But I, I don't want to drink. I don't like I don't like the drinking stuff though. I don't like how it makes my body feel. After I after I stopped drinking early part of this year and I had my first drink like in June, maybe July, it just made me feel real crazy. Baby, I don't even know who that person is. You asking me about. I don't know who. Oh, you talking to somebody else? Because I'm going to say, babe, I don't know who that is. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like the feeling of it anymore. Well, I don't like that feeling. I just start feeling like real. Nah, I'm good. Just give me some weed and some coffee, and I would be a o fucking k. Uh, I am planning on coming to New York next year, and I'm going to wait till the sun is out for that, too, because after this trip right here, and if I go to Detroit next week, is the last time I am dealing with cold weather like this. I was born in California. And we have sunshine, and we have a little rain. This fucking snow and all that shit is for the birds. I don't want to do it. I don't want to, and I'm not. No, I don't. <clears throat> I don't call people fans because fans are something that cools you off. So I call everybody a friend first. You have to be a friend first until you fuck up, then you just a piece of shit. Yes, baby. It's snow all outside. And when the wind blow, you get it. It's so cold on your feet. Because of all that babe. Then you find out you were going to get it when you well, I'm not performing there, but I am supposed to be doing a pageant, and if anything, I may go out, well, no, I'm not, because it's too cold. I was going to say, I may go out and get my juice, but mm -mm. not in that weather, not in Detroit, no, I am. It's just too cold. I'm the realest. Oh, thank you. It just cold. I don't like being cold. Oh, fuck. You could get warm, but damn, you have to wear a lot of clothes to get warm. 
I think the world for me categorized as a lower class. Oh! Do I as a fan, not even a celebrity? No. And I may say, like, I'm a big fan of somebody's, but I don't really like saying that either. Because I, I, I'm not here to cool you off. But that's just something that, you know, part of the thing. But I don't, I don't like calling people fans and stuff. Yeah, so, you know, if I don't make it to the Big D, because <laughs> they call Detroit the Big D, I uh, will be in the, in the sunny uh, sea. California, and <clears throat> we just have to play another field because it's too cold. Way too cold. And going back and forth, forth and back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I cannot be involved. You little motherfucker. Men, keep you some tweezers around you to pluck them hairs out so you won't be having them crunching much bumps underneath your face. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, moisturize. I'm my favorite rude girl of all time. My drag mama is my favorite drag queen. That's it and that's all. Butter line couldn't dry. I don't even know all the girls who've been on the show. <clears throat> queen, you need your own show. Well, I do have a show coming up. But let's I need to hit up Oprah. Oprah. I need a reality show. Mona Scott. I need a reality show. VH1. I need a reality show. You was talking to... You know what? Well, if y'all been talking... Maybe he just scared. Because telling somebody that you love them and then they don't feel the same way is a scary fucking thing. So, maybe he just was scared that he said that because he didn't know how you was going to accept it. But if he told you that he loved you and he was just playing... You can't go around messing with people's feelings. Don't fuck with mine, and I won't fuck with yours. Hello, VH1, are you hiring today? Oh, great. I'll be there momentarily to fill out the application. Thank you. Anybody for fathers whose family have passed and are feeling alone this time of year? Oh. What I do is, is there's a lot of music that reminds me of a lot of my friends and family members who have passed on. So if I feel that way, I would just play a song or something that really reminds me of them or whoever. I may shed a tear for a moment, but then I'm thinking of all the happy times we had. And I may even think about the bad times we had, because that's part of life. But you have to remember... You still have to live. It's okay to be down because that's, that's, you're human. You have feelings. You're going to do that. Yeah, I, I cry in the instant. I think about certain people that passed away. And you just have to, it's okay to cry and get it out, but you can't just be slumped there. It's the holidays. Of course, you're going to be sad. But just remember, they want you to be happy. They happy. Trust me. 
because they not worried and don't have a care in the world. We the ones have to worry and have cares in the world. They don't have that no more. They done did their time and then lived their life. And one thing I have learned was that everybody in life have an expiration date. And you know, they want you to be happy. They 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 was here to give you something, show you something, teach you something. They done did that. So you have to take that and just remember and be thankful for it and start living your life. Because one day, I say it all the time, it's gonna be us. It just it just is. So you know, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. And that's one like for me, myself, and I, <clears throat> when I go like to the UK and stuff, in different places I had never been, in different places that I know that my um, my best friend, which is my cousin and my other best friend, they have both passed away. And we know we was really, really tight. Places that I know they never been and I go, I just feel like they're there with me. And you know, no Tino say people might think I'm crazy, but I don't give a fuck. I have, I'm not a full conversation with them, but I just be like, bitch, look where, I, look where I'm at now. Bitch, I'm here. I done made it all the way over here. Who would have thought? And it makes me feel better because I do believe in life after death because you hear different things. You see different things. I don't know what some of y'all believe in or who y'all believe in, but that ain't my business. That's between y'all. But I do feel that the afterlife of a person's soul still be with their loved ones. And I tell you, when I was in Australia, baby, I didn't give a fuck if people thought I was crazy. I was like, bitch, we are in Australia, bitch. Like, we are in our, and I'll say we because it's like, bitch, I brought them there. They wouldn't have went to Australia if I wasn't there. Why would they go to Australia? They don't know nobody there. I'm there. So I'm like, bitch, I made it to, girl, we in Australia, bitch, we finna cut up. Every time. And it makes me feel a lot better because I really believe that they are there shining down and watching me. So it's okay to feel sad, but just remember they want you to be happy. You know. It's okay. I mean, that's, that's life. But it's the holiday, so you have to just keep, you know, keep on keeping on, baby. You have to do it for yourself. And then you have to do it for them too. Because they don't, I don't think anybody will want their loved ones to be on earth suffering or crying and not living their life out. So, you know, you have to fluff it up, get back in race, get your faith into place, and simply say, get your jish. Yeah. And like, no Tino Shay, no pink lemonade. <clears throat> I want to do so much with my poor little life. Like, honestly, I believe that you can have guardian angels on earth. Because I tell you the truth, Patty LaBelle has been one for me. Whoopi Goldberg, Jackie Harry, Jasmine Guy, have all been some type of angel for me. Because they was on TV, it kept me in the house a lot of times when a lot of my friends was back there breaking in cars, going to the parties, getting fighting and shooting, getting killed, or, you know, going to sex parties. They're doing a lot of stuff that by them being on TV, kept me in the house because I wanted to watch them. I wanted to record them. And then I'm at home recording, watching something, find out one of my friends got jumped. One of my friends got killed. This bitch, like, what? And all the time, I was going to be there with them. But because Whoopi was on TV, because Jack A. Harry was on TV, which is Sandra Clark on 227, and because of Patty LaBelle on their war show that she was going to be on something, I'm like, nah, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to watch it or whatever. Like, I'm like, fuck. Like, if they wasn't on, I, and I thought about this later on. Like, if they wasn't on TV, I'm just, I want to be in here. 
Because I was right in the middle of a whole bunch of that shit. My friends fighting, bitch, we fighting. Friends got jumped, some got put in the hospital, some got shot and killed. It just been a lot. But I want to stay home because I want to see what's on TV. Because that was going to be on there. So I called them my on earth guardian angel. You know? You know all people are doing <clears throat> had a long day, baby. You literally lift my spirit. Oh, we all lift my spirits too. Y'all my boo. No ma'am. Oh, <laughs> no ma'am. No ma'am. Soprano. No ma'am. Alto. They send me that video all the time too. I mean, someone who comes in as a divine intervention. Okay, let me see. I'm a guard. Jasmine God. Yes, I love you. Try me. Try me. That part. I'm fucking hungry. She better bring her ass on before I hit it. Please complete the sentence. I am Jasmine Masters and I have something to say. Get your fucking judge. Let me see. I believe you love one. I'm passing. Okay. Oh, I'm always happy. People always say, why are you always so happy? Because God damn it, where else could I be? Shit. There's somebody around this world and right underneath my nose that had it harder than me. And I don't have it hard. And even if I did, bitch, just be Because God damn, life itself is a struggle. You have bills, you have rent, you have all that shit. That's what you get upset and sad about. When you don't have to deal with that type of shit, be happy. You're welcome. My best said, I hope I helped you, Jen. Okay, let me block this person. <laughs> Already. Seeing me happy makes you happy too. Oh, thank you. Just be happy. Oh, I love you so much too. You back? Where did you go, Megan? Is that my little daughter, Megan? No, I don't think that's my daughter. I have like three little kids. <laughs> Baby. We was in the mall. <laughs> and somebody walked past me. I said, baby, somebody pits is on stage. They was like, what? Somebody pits is on stage. The pips or pits? Pits. Arm pits. It's coming. We have fell out of the stove. Baby, them pits are hitting it. They don't left Gladys behind because they are on it. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Oh, uh, from Brazil. Hey, Brazil. I wish I'd come to Brazil. I think Brazil is this place they have that stage that come up like the you come up from underneath the stage. If I ever get on that stage, Jesus Christ. I may have the Holy Ghost before my music star. I have been years, love, so they are white. Thank you. But I could tell you what makes your teeth white, too. Um, them crest advanced whitening strips. Just leave them all a little air to them, what they say. They would get your shit white. Oh, this is going to cut off in 30 seconds. So y'all look, y'all going to have to get your judge because I'm going to get mine too. And I'm going to brush my teeth and, uh, 
get dressed because I already, you know, put some water and stuff to Diane's. But I love y'all so much, y'all my people. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Maybe I'll be on a little later, but this is going to cut off. Love y'all.